All right, everybody. Happy Friday. This is Nate Hoffman with G Suite for Healthcare Providers. Good to see you. So, as I talked about in a previous post on our Facebook page, I wanted to put together a little video that talks about uh, email and uh, how we can make it HIPAA compliant, how it works with Google, in some cases, how we have to use a third party if we are sending our email to uh, another server where they may not be um, encrypted. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're also going to talk about some of the tools that already exist within Google that uh, work when you only send to other uh, Gmail users. We'll talk a little bit about that. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is my favorite third-party email that I found so far. That's going to be the last thing that we touch on. So stick around to the end and we'll talk a little bit about that. So first things first, I want to show you what Gmail already has built in. So number one, let's say we want to go and compose a message and let's say that in this message, number one, if I send from my HIPAA compliant Gmail over to another Gmail account, they're both encrypted, right? So that's going to send it, you know, they call that end-to-end -end encryption. So you don't have to worry about anything. Now, uh, let's say I still want to add an extra little bit of uh, security. I want to make something password protected. That's actually really easy. So I might put, let's put in this, this is my dummy account. And I'm going to say, hey, hey, cool app. I don't know, something. And then we'll just put whatever down here. Okay, so what you do is you come down to this little icon down here. It looks like a little uh, lock around a clock. And you click on that. This gives you an opportunity to say there's going to be an expiration date on your email. So it will disappear out of the inbox of the recipient in whatever timeline you ask it to. You can also ask it for an SMS passcode, right? A text passcode. So I'm going to say that's what I want. I want them to have a passcode. I say OK, and then I, when I go to push send, it's going to ask for the recipient's phone number. right? So this would be a client or somebody else. Again, they have to have a Gmail account. And you, um, when it arrives in their inbox, and I'll show how that works, they just enter their telephone number and it pops right up. So let me give you, I sent this one to me previously so you could kind of see how that works. So right here, I have to, I put in send my passcode, and it sends me the passcode, right, on my phone. So here's my phone. I'm going to look at what that is. Let's see. The passcode they sent me for this one was 807363. I'm going to push submit, and then there you go. I now have access to the email. So pretty cool stuff, right? So that's the stuff that's already built in. So the other stuff that I wanted to go through, I kind of put together some, some slides so that you could kind of see, uh, kind of visually what we're talking about here. So let's kind of go here. So the most common encryption that people are using today is something that's called TLS, right? Most email addresses, most, I should say email addresses, most email servers use this. There is somewhere in the range uh, estimates, I forget what it was when I was reading, was something like, uh, like 8 to 15 percent of individuals use unencrypted email and so if that's the case right that's that's considered that's considered unsafe and you'd want to be weary about sending email to something that isn't encrypted right so again if you have a gmail account it's safe there it, once it leaves the server and arrives at another gmail account or any other tls encrypted or some sometimes there's other types of encryption as well that are safe I'm sure also but that makes that okay also so you don't have to worry about that now what you do have to worry about right so I'm okay here I go to send it and if it goes to another email address without encryption that's when you can run into a problem and that would not be considered HIPAA compliant so my favorite one this little icon that I put here at the top that's something called pawbox p-a-u-b-o-x this is my favorite app okay and I'll describe to you a little bit why so the way that it works is they're kinda like a filter so I shoot off an email from something that's HIPAA compliant well from Gmail it sends it through Pawbox's servers Pawbox then looks at the recipient email and says hmm are these guys HIPAA compliant I shouldn't say HIPAA compliant but do they have encryption 
if they do have encryption, then it allows the, the email to get sent onward, right? So you don't have to worry about it. Now, if it's not protected, then what it does is it says, okay, we're just going to hold it. We're going to hold on to that email and we're going to direct the recipient back to our server where they enter a little password and since they're on our protected server at Pawbox, then it's, it's, uh, you know, it's encrypted and it's safe. It's in a safe environment. So the reason I particularly like Pawbox is because there's no, uh, you don't have to sign this or, you know, you don't have to in a lot of other um, emails, like, right, if I come in here, they'll have this, most of them that I looked at, they'll have little sections right here that say, hey, I want to encrypt this message. And then you actually have to click on extra buttons and kind of go through a process. Whereas with Pawbox, you use it just like normal email. All you do is push send. It's already um, kind of, it already works automatically with your Gmail so that you just push send and you forget about it. It's, it's so the reason, that's the big reason that I like it is because you don't feel it right? You don't feel the pain of using it. You just send it off and you're golden. So that's why I like Pawbox. There's fewer clicks and things like that. Now there are a lot of other different add-ons that you can um, utilize and I have some up here, right? So I looked up in um, in the store. Flowcrypt, I, I saw some of their stuff. I, they seemed to be pretty good. I think that these guys are primarily out of Europe. So they're, uh, they're GDPR um, encrypt uh, compliant right now. Um, I shot them an email and they said that they're hoping to be HIPAA compliant uh, soon. All right, the other one that I looked at, um, I looked at Jumble a little bit, they looked all right. I looked at these guys a little bit, they're all right. Most of these, most of these are gonna cost you something, right? Because it's not inexpensive to have, um, to have servers that aren't encrypted, right? So. They're usually going to call it, cost you something. Pawbox, for example, is thirty dollars a month, but that gives you three email addresses that you can that you can have. Um, unfortunately, I tried to get a hold of them and see if they could give us some kind of a deal, but that didn't end up working out right. So, um, whether you have one or you have three with Pawbox, it's just thirty dollars a month, which ultimately, for that type of automation and not having to worry about it, isn't too bad. So, I have actually included. In, uh, in the description below is a link to Pawbox where you can go and start, you know, you purchase a plan with them and start using it right away. Um, anyway, I hope that helps everybody. If you have any questions, of course, leave comments and any concerns. I'm happy to help you out and uh, we will talk to you later. Bye.